Good morning, folks. A little morning coffee. I did a little morning tapping, but I'm not going to do any tapping in this video. I uh, tend to use the statement, your perspective is your reality. You've probably heard me say that before. I've used it in some of the different videos, some of the tapping scripts that I've done. And it's kind of one of those statements that it's in one ear and out the other, right? It's, it's probably one that you've heard before. But to truly embody that perspective could be really powerful. And what I mean by that is to sit down and take inventory on your thoughts and what your perspective is can be an incredibly powerful exercise. And so I wanted to share an example of how you could have, let's say, two different people living the same exact experience, having a different perspective on that experience and how they interpret the world around them, their reality, and therefore how that's going to translate into how they feel, which will then translate to other actions they take, other thoughts they have. And so let's talk about just take example, my, the past week I've had, it's been an interesting week. So, um, for an example, right, let's, let's take what's happening out in the world. If you look out into the world right now, there's trillions of things happening, but let's, let's just stick to the kind of the mainstream, right? President Trump was shot, almost killed, right? That kind of rattled the nation. President Biden stepped out of the race, kind of disappeared, which could make a lot of people feel uncertain, right? Especially with one former president getting shot, current president kind of disappearing, not sure of the status of his health. You may feel uncertain about how other countries are viewing us, right? There's a lot of other things happening in the world. Are we going to be taken advantage of? Is there other bad things that could happen because there's kind of a political upheaval, right? A lot, a lot of easily negative <laughs> interpretations can happen with just that stuff alone, right? Everyone's kind of aware of that. And then on top of it, I could spiral out of control if, if I decided to, as an example, at my log home in the country, and I'm actually in my city home right now, but my log home, I've been dealing with these yellow jackets, right? These these um, four different yellow jacket nests. Three of them were on the exterior of the cabin, actually get they were getting into the logs. And another one was outside of the cabin, not, not far from, you know, the log home itself. And that's kind of been a stressor because I have twin toddlers and yellow jackets can be very dangerous. So the pest guy was coming out like it seemed like nonstop to, to deal with different nests. And then I get to the city house and we have a rooftop deck on this house. It has a beautiful view of the city. But I found out that we have what appears to be some serious termite damage going on with the wood. Right? Um, so a lot going on there. Now, when I say your perspective is your reality, imagine if I took the perspective of being in fear, uncertainty, and doubt with the political climate and everything going on there and all the news media, all the negativity there. And then on top of it, I really started to ruminate on the issue with the yellow jackets and the money I spent for the pest guy and you know, the, the fear of, of getting stung or my family getting stung by these yellow jackets or hurt by them or them causing damage to the log home. And then I'm here and then find out we have a termite issue with one of the, the rooftop deck and what, what other issues could they be causing? And that the pest guy for that hasn't even come out yet. Like I could totally let my mind run amok in a negative perspective that just completely annihilates my thinking. I could completely shift into a negative state of being, 
a stressful state of being. I could ruminate on all the bad stuff happening in my world, in the exterior world that I'm seeing and perceiving, and so on and so forth, right? And I could add all sorts of other things on, on top of it easily, right? If I'm thinking in a negative, stressful state, I'm just going to attract more of those same thoughts. I'm going to ruminate on more things and other things that bother me. And then I'll just stay in this vicious cycle. That's one way that my perspective is my reality. Now, the way I have approached it was I certainly acknowledge the things I don't like or don't want or don't agree with. But I quickly shift back to a powerful, empowered, creative, joyful state of being. Because that's the state of being from which I create. That's the state of being from which I'm healthy and strong and confident, right? Yellow jackets, take care of them. No big deal. I'm not going to focus on them. The termites, we're going to take care of it. No big deal. I'm not going to sit here and focus on and ruminate it, ruminate on it, right? The political climate, yeah, it's probably not the best um, situation with everything going on there. But you know what? I have faith in the future of our world, of our country, of our government, of our leadership, right? And I see success. I see what I, what I desire, right? I'm not going to focus on what I don't want. I know what I don't want. I don't want all of that. What do I do want? I want solid leadership. I want solid government. I want uh, people to come together, to be united, to feel happy and safe and secure, right? So I see that and that's what I focus on. And by doing that, my perspective is my reality, right? So totally different perspective than the other one, right? It could be doom and gloom, anger, frustration, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Or it could be empowerment, acknowledgement, alignment connection connection with god connection with the universe right hope and possibility and enjoy for the future that's the perspective i'm in so what what is your perspective and if you find yourself spir spiraling out of control or really noticing what you don't want what you don't like what bothers you what impacts you in a negative way then what, where is your perspective? What is your thinking? What are you thinking about in that moment? And take the time to shift out of it. Now, the beautiful thing is you can shift out of it in many different ways. You can shift out of it with tapping. Tapping is a phenomenal way to shift out of that stressful state of being, that fearful state of being, and get into a more powerful, empowered state of being because you are the one that controls your thoughts which is going to control your emotions, which is going to control your thinking, your actions, so on and so forth. Tapping is a great way. Another way is to just say out loud, stop. It's not true, right? When you're in that negative spiral, out of control, stop. Michael, stop. This is not true. I'm not going to let this happen. And just make the decision to shift out of it, right? The other things you could do is when you specifically know what you don't want, right? I don't want the termites. I don't want the yellow jackets. I don't want the political unrest and craziness and assassination attempts and all this stuff. So what do I focus on? I focus on the opposite of that. I could journal about it. I could be grateful for the opposite of it as if it's already true. Use visualization, meditation, right? So there's lots of tips and techniques you could use to shift out of that state of being. But what is your perspective? What are your predominant thoughts? Because that is what your reality is, okay? Your perspective is your reality. Shift into a different reality. The world is your oyster. Your reality is your oyster. So shift into that which you desire, which you choose to align with. So that's my rant for the morning. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Keep creating greatness. I'll see you on the next one.